Today, we're gonna make lightning. And it's gonna be awesome. Once you have Adobe Animate open, create an ActionScript 3. If you wanna learn more about action scripts and what they do, well, so do I. I'll research them and make a video about them if you want. Just comment below and let me know. Let's make our background. I'll make mine a dark gray. I simply make a giant rectangle with a dark gray fill. Don't forget to rename this layer. Naming layers will save lives. Once that's done, let's lock it and make a new layer. Let's name it Bolt. Let's change our fill to a brighter color. I'm rolling with white. Equip your brush tool and make sure you're using pressure sensitivity by clicking down here. Now draw out your bolt. Here we go. Now select your bolt and press F8. We're turning this into a movie clip, so name it accordingly. Once that's done, scroll over to your properties tab and make sure your bolt is selected. We're going to add a filter. Click this plus button under the filters tab and click glow. This will add another chunk of stuff under your filters tab. Feel free to click here to change the color of your glow. All right, now I'm gonna add a few keyframes. Let's play with the glow a bit. This seems like a good spot. What I'm doing here is creating three different frames for this bolt. You'll want one with a high glow, one with a medium glow, and one with no glow at all. All right, now we're gonna need some effects for the anticipation. A flash or two, and a radiant glow from where the bolt's coming from, the sky. Make a new layer. Don't forget to save. Name the layer glow, and draw a chunky blob that vaguely remembers this, remembers, that vaguely resembles the top part of our bolt. Select it and transform this masterpiece into a movie clip. Name it glow. Now with your glow selected, we're gonna give this a blur filter. Play with the values until you get something desirable. Select these frames on the bolt layer, click and drag them over one, select one frame on your background layer, then Control F click on another frame from your glow layer, hit F5 to add a frame on both of these layers. Now select these three frames and delete them. All right, now let's draw our decaying bolt. This is one of the last frames for our bolt. Add a blank frame to your bolt layer and turn on your onion skin. Now, draw out a thinning bolt. This thing's gonna look like there's not much of it left. Add another blank frame, and let's do a play test. But before we do that, add a bunch more frames to the back to pad out the playback. Let's go ahead and add in those flashes. Just like how we did with the background, take a rectangle, but use a bright fill instead. I'm going with white. So now we're gonna make a new layer, name it, click and drag the rectangle to cover up the entire canvas, select it and transform it into a graphic. Go into its properties, color effect, and change the style to alpha. For safety reasons, I'm not going with a 100% alpha. This thing is going to flash for a frame or two. Let's just add a value of 75. Select these up here and move them over one. Then select this and add a frame. Select these and remove them. And select and remove those extra glow frames. Now select these three frames and add two frames. We're going to give this scene another flash of light. So select this frame and give it two frames. Create a keyframe here at the end and then clear the middle frame. Play test. Now if you want, you can also use flash frames alpha values, or even copy over one of the decaying bolt frames to the middle of these flash frames. The ultimate goal is to play with it. It's all up to you. That's one of the great things about animating, drawing, painting, and all that jazz. You can play with it. So have fun. And as you've already guessed, this is not the definitive way to do lightning in Adobe Animate, but this is one way that I've figured out how to do it. If it works, let me know. And if not, please let me know what I can do to fix it. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching.
All right, so first, you're gonna to wanna to grab your mouse, like so, and you're gonna scroll over to Adobe Animate, and you're gonna open it. Now, if you've gotten this far, I'm proud of you.